Welcome to the world of power boating. My name is Jay Flats and I'll be your host for volume one of our series entitled Twin Screw Boat Handling, shot right here in beautiful Marina del Rey in Southern California. A first time skipper has a lot to learn and the purpose of this video is to make learning as painless as possible. In this video, we will cover the basics of boat handling and related factors such as inertia, wind, and current. And the characteristics of your boat may differ slightly, but rest assured, the basics are the same. Here we see, in the typical bridge of a twin screw power boat, a well-organized mass of gauges, instruments, and controls. For the purposes of this tape, we will be discussing only the steering wheel, the throttles, and the shift controls, controlling the forward and reverse motion of the propellers. As we go through the operation of these controls, you will see in the inset at the bottom the actual boat responses to the movement of these controls. As you move the steering wheel to port, or left side of the boat, the two rudders will move in the same direction, causing resistance to the flow of water under your boat, forcing it to turn. As you move the wheel to starboard, or right side of the boat, the same happens in reverse. Both rudders are connected and always will work together. You have two throttle controls to work with, the starboard or right throttle and the port or left throttle. Each control is connected to an engine on your boat on the corresponding side. They work much like the gas pedal on your car, except that they do not return to an idle position when you let them go. To accelerate the speed of an engine, slowly push the control forward until you reach the desired revolutions per minute. To decelerate, slowly pull the control back. Remember, the control will stay in the position where you leave it. During normal or forward or reverse operation of your twin screw power boat, you will operate both controls as if they were one, adjusting one or the other when you reach your desired RPM. As you have two throttle controls, one for each engine, you also have two shift controls, one for each engine. In the center position, the propeller is in neutral. To engage the propeller forward, push the shifter forward until it stops. To disengage, pull it back to the center position. To engage the propeller in reverse, pull the shifter back until it stops. To disengage, push it forward to the center position. For normal forward or reverse operation of your twin screw power boat, you will operate both shifters as if they were one. If one of your engines fails on the open sea, you should still have no problem by simply driving on that one engine just as if it were a single screw power boat and bringing you back to the harbor. Your reaction time will be slower, but you should have no problem reaching the port. In your harbor, at a speed of five knots forward, if the starboard engine quits on you, you can still make very wide turns towards port, or in this case, the operating engine. They'll be very slow and very deliberate, but you can still make the turns. At one knot, or in this case docking speed, with the wheel hard over to port and the starboard engine out, the boat will not, and I repeat, will not make a turn in the direction of the operating engine. This is the most important fact to keep in mind when attempting to enter your slip with one engine out. Entering your slip with the port engine out is a difficult maneuver, but it's certainly not impossible. You would enter the slip channel towards the starboard side, staying very close to the boats, but staying a minimum safe distance away. You would turn the steering wheel hard over to port as you enter the area of your particular slip. The boat, because of the thrust of the starboard engine on the starboard side of the stern, will swing the bow forward 
and making that turn is not very difficult. You would make a very wide turn using your shifter to keep your motion slowed and keep yourself in position. Very important, as you have lost 90% of your control because of the engine being out, that you keep the maneuver as slow as possible. If you do get into trouble, it's much easier to get out at a slower speed. 